Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Hi, right, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Madden Money Shot sniffing up the Madden cheese as always. I got some plays for you today out of a alternate playbook. I'm using the Run Balance playbook. Uh, this is a playbook I can't say this is very popular. As far as the alternate playbooks go, uh, I would say West Coast is the most popular. Uh, but I'm using the Run Balance today, and the, and the formation I'm using, you're looking at it right now, the single back ace double wing. Uh, this one here, I made a video about this maybe mid-season of Madden. Uh, a guy ran this formation and this formation only against me about 99% of the time. And it was one of the most frustrating formations to stop because all the tight ends, I mean, it's just such a loaded power formation. It's an amazing running formation. But he was passing on me. That was the crazy part about it is he was using pass plays to whoop me up and down. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to break down this formation for you guys today. So let's go ahead and let's get into it. Single back, ace, double wing. Uh, like I said, to me, the most, you know, the best thing about this is the run formations just because you have you know so much power so much size on this on this formation so i'm gonna go with the halfback stretch now i wish i would have put in a little bit of a faster back but it really doesn't matter this play right here it's balanced so no matter where you are on the field your opponent's never really gonna know which way the ball is going there is no strong side so you can, you know, you can go ahead, you can play games. If you flip it and you see him react like he thinks it's going to the one side, you can act like you're flipping it again and have it going to the same side. Or you can just run it. You can run it to the open side of the field. It doesn't matter. This formation's perfectly set up just like it is. You can't, I wish you could motion a guy over and make it like a three tight end side, but you can't. The computer won't let you do that. They, they know that that's not, <laughs> that that's really going to make it overpowered. So let's go ahead and let's run it just like this. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to read my keys. I think I got more space on the short side. I actually want to move the ball back. I don't even want to have a short side. Now, this is perfect to run the middle of the field so let's go ahead and let's run just like this now I'm, I'm reading we have a safety in the box a strong safety in the box so i'm gonna go to the opposite end obviously if it's a cover three you can see how the blocking is just ferocious hopefully i can make this dude miss and we get a touchdown at first first carry that's how easy this play is it's so overpowered i don't think this formation is in any other book there's a similar looking formation out of the panthers playbook but it's in the shotgun and if you actually are familiar with the uh the setup i'll see if i can find it here real quick uh, the shock and heavy panther there's just not a lot of plays they're, they're all up the middle uh pretty much there's no outside toss plays um so it's not nearly as effective as like i said there's not nearly as much of a variety either so it doesn't have any outside run plays like this one here is really that much better because you can you can run plays outside unlike that one you can't so that's what makes this particular formation so dominant is it has stretch plays and stuff like that the panther one does not so it's not nearly as good now, as far as where you can get an advantage running the ball on any given play, it's really hard to say. Uh, this is a cover two. I can pretty much tell, at least I'm guessing it is. Maybe it's cover two man or zone. I'm not really sure yet. But it's really hard to tell, you know, where there's an advantage. That defensive end on the right side looked like he's in a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to try to get outside of that. And you can see there we get a hole. Uh, but there's no real, you know, it's going to be different every play. You can motion over one of the inside tight ends. You can't motion the outside tight end for some reason over to the other side, but the inside tight end you can. Um, I don't think it makes the play better. It, uh, it it makes it gives away where the play is going, which is one of the benefits to the to the even stack. Uh, but you can see you can still get some good carries out of it. But I find the the you know not knowing where the ball is going is one of the best things on this formation. Um, I do have a pass play where you motion over one of the inside tight ends in the part two video. If you want to check that out, hit the like button. And I'll do that. Um, but uh, I don't think as far as the run plays go, I don't find it's necessarily better. See here when you move the outside guy, he doesn't really he doesn't do what you want to do. Typically, three tight ends. You can see how the the defense shifts when the guy motions over. What do you think your opponent's going to do? You know what I mean? They're they're definitely going to start moving that way. But sometimes it doesn't matter. This 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 blocking can be dominant to the point where it doesn't matter. You can see there it gets stuffed. Uh, but I find that when you motion over three tight ends, you really have um, it, it changes the blocking setup. As I messed that up, <clears throat> I feel like it changes the blocking setup to who's blocking what. So I don't find it's necessarily a benefit. So that's it. We're going to go to move on to the next play. The next run play I'm going to show out of this. I mean, there's inside runs like the dive. Obviously, you're going to have to throw that in there every once in a while. Um, on the dive, there might be a slight variation uh, that you want to do. But the next play I'm going to show is the weak toss. I might go over more one more run play in this. I'll try to do it quick. But the weak toss is a little bit different. So let's go ahead and let's do that. Now, I said in the previous run play that you can motion over um, one of these inside tight ends to make it kind of a, a three tight end to the side. That's probably 
going to be very beneficial for this play. You can motion snap them too, so it's going to look a lot like uh, some other plays that I put out this year uh, where you motion snap the toss. Um, you just have to kind of do it when he's behind the tight ends. You can see how the blocking is, uh, is much better when you have the motion hike. I think motioning over a blocker is definitely key to this play. I wouldn't say the same about the stretch. I feel like the stretch is better just like it is. Uh, but when you run up this play without the, the, the motion tight end, I feel like um, you, you just leave a guy unblocked. And, mo and motioning over this tight end is definitely key to the success of this play. Um, as you can see there, the blocking just didn't work out. But my juke skills are so tight. We get five. Yeah, the stretch play, I feel like, is better without motioning a tight end over. But this one here is, is just, it's not good without it. You need to motion over somebody. As you can see here, it's going to follow 86 and get a nice big run. I, I could have, I got closer touchdown, 25 yards. But it's all about the motion block. If you don't motion block, you're going to be shorthanded. You're not going to have enough blockers. And this is a man coverage. Uh, I didn't get the motion hike in, but it's whatever. We're going to run just like this. And you can see, typically when they when they blitz, they just leave nobody back. And it's just you just get through one line, you're gone. That's really all there is to it. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to move on. If you want to see part two, pass plays, hit the like button, and I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Money shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.